everybody and welcome to AstroTap, the place where we use astrology to tap into your destiny. So today we're going to talk about the rising sign and the rising sign can also be called the ascendant. So bear this in mind when you're checking out your own birth chart and also if you hear me switching from rising sign to ascendant in this video because I have a tendency to do that, it means the same thing. So the rising sign is a sign that was rising on the western horizon at the moment you were born and I specify it's the moment you were born. So to know your rising sign you need your time of birth and your place of birth and it's so important to get these accurate because the rising sign changes approximately every two hours. So when you were born and you took in that first breath you were breathing in the qualities of that rising sign. It's your first impressions of the world. And whatever sign your rising sign falls in was the energy you felt when you first became a human being. So the rising sign is how you see the world. So it's the filter that you see the world through. It's the best way you know how to navigate your life. And as we know, life is a mirror. So the energy that you put out is the energy that you get back. So your rising sign is also the way that you appear to other people. Now the rising sign is so important in your birth chart because the rising sign really is the door into your reality and it's also the doors into each house in your natal birth chart. So for instance, first house, rising sign, first door, you the way you navigate the world and the way that you appear to others. Second house, your value systems. What in life do you need to feel secure and to feel stable? Third house, your mindset, your communication and so on and so on. But to build this house system and understand your birth chart at a personal level, this rising sign builds up the rest of your birth chart. And because the rising sign has a lot to do with your first impressions, it has a lot to do with your first steps in life. So it can also indicate the energy around your childhood. And the rising sign can also indicate your physical appearance. So a lot of people will hold physical traits from their rising sign. And this makes it so much easier for people to guess your rising sign before they actually guess like your sun sign or your moon sign or your Venus sign because the rising sign really guards those more intimate placements. The rising sign can also indicate the energy around your birth. So your journey down the birth canal and the rising sign can also indicate the way that you rise every morning. So the way that you wake up because when you open your eyes in the morning, a new day is born. So a lot can be said about somebody's morning routine when you look at their rising sign. Now, another thing to take into consideration is the planet that rules your rising sign. So for instance, if you're an Aries rising, Mars is the planet that rules your rising sign. And whatever planet rules your rising sign is actually your whole chart ruler. So every house will have a little aspect of this Mars energy. Now we're not really going to go into this in this video, but I will tell you each planet that rules each sign. And I will do a future video on this. Another thing to take into consideration is if you have your birth chart handy, check whether you have any planets conjunct your ascendant. Now a conjunct means any planets 10 degrees away from your ascendant. I'll pop a chart example up here or here. <laughs> and as you can see in this chart, it is my chart <laughs> because I am a prime example for this because as you can see, I have Uranus conjunct the ascendant, Neptune conjunct the ascendant, the moon conjunct the ascendant and the north node conjunct the ascendant. Now any planets that are conjunct the ascendant in the 12th house, you will have some past life connection to those planets and those energies. So for instance, my persona will be very Capricorn-esque, so Saturn-like, Neptune-like and Uranian-like. So it's a bit of a mixed bag there. <laughs> And any planets underneath, you will have those traits, but they will be less seen and more personal to you. Again, I will do a future video on this just to explain this a bit better, but it is something to check out. And if you do find that you have any planets conjunct your ascendant, check the sign that goes with each planet. And you can also watch the video for that sign as well. So, in this video, I will go through 
your general traits, your physical appearance regarding your rising sign, your journey down the birth canal, I will try and predict that, maybe you want to chat to your mum or something to find out the dates, and how you rise and shine each morning. But first, I will be showing you a few celebrities which share your rising sign just so that you have some examples and I've chosen reality TV stars because the rising sign is that first sign that people are going to see when they meet you and as mentioned you are hiding your more intimate chart placements behind that rising sign so when you're a reality TV star you are probably going to show the traits of your rising sign before you get to the nitty gritty like the moon sign so you may see someone's moon sign if they get triggered but day to day when they've got a camera in their face you're gonna see their rising sign hello pisces rising and ascendants let's have a look at the reality tv stars which share your rising sign so we have courtney kardashian from keeping up with the kardashians we have chris hughes from love island and zayn malik who originated from x factor so pisces rising you are a water rising sign so you tend to feel your way through life you tend to move through life using your instincts and your intuition and if it don't feel right you ain't gonna do it and the planet which rules Pisces is Neptune so Neptune rules your rising and that also means that your whole chart has a very Neptunian flavor to it so Neptune is the gas planet and it's known to be the planet that has no boundaries it's gas so it merges so this adds to the Pisces rising energy of if it doesn't feel right I can't do it because Pisces risings tend to merge with everything so you will merge with people you will merge with careers that's why Pisces risings do really well in artistic careers because you can merge yourself with whatever your art form is you're also a mutable rising sign so you do like change and you totally understand that life has its ebbs and its flows you're cool with riding through those ebbs and flows and you're very changeable and you're very adaptable as mentioned you are an intuitive rising sign you are known to be very highly sensitive now this is highly sensitive to energies but other people who aren't as understanding of your energies may confuse that sensitivity with actual like sobby kind of sensitivity and it's not necessarily that it's the fact that you pick up on people's feelings so easily so when you're around people if you're with somebody who's sad you will pick up on that energy and you will naturally feel sad and that person may think you're very sensitive and sobby not actually realizing that energy came from them and not from you but you are also the psychic rising sign so even if you're not very in control of your psychic abilities you may actually be somebody who experiences the more weirder sides of life you may experience more unexplainable things than the average person and this might make you very interested in exploring beyond pisces is the most evolved water sign so when it comes to cancer you're looking at the glyph which is the crab so they are able to delve into the water and also walk upon land then you have scorpio like i imagine scorpio like the shark that hunts from underneath the water so they reside nearer the surfaces of the water because they like to see what's going on outside of the water they like to watch their prey and then you've got pisces and you are the deep depths of the ocean you're extremely deep you experience sides of life that most people don't experience because you can reach depths that other people can't and again because you're so adaptable you like to merge with every situation so uh, you really really need to feel it to do it if it feels wrong you won't do it and if you're a Pisces rising and you ignore your intuition, you will find that you will have a lot of hiccups in life because Pisces risings actually have a secret cheat code in life. You know what an outcome of a situation is gonna be without actually having to experience it. <laughs> My mom is a Pisces rising and she can watch all the contestants enter Love Island. 
She barely knows their personalities, they've barely shown themselves, but she can pick out the winner right at the beginning. And she is 95% right. She just knows. You are very good in creative and artistic careers, also spiritual and healing careers. It's that knowledge and that feeling you get from a higher place. You're the kind of person who can create art that helps people remove themselves from regular day-to-day -day life. Thought-provoking art. Same with music. I can always tell when a musician or a band is of Neptunian influence. The music kind of envelops you. So the veil, is the kind of separator between the earthly realms and the ethers. You kind of have access to see behind that veil. I've got a meme on my Instagram of Jeffree Star and it's a picture of Jeffree Star behind like something that looks like a veil, like it looks like a neck curtain. And I've switched that image so it's mirroring each other. So there's two versions of Jeffree Star looking through a neck curtain, looking at each other. And the caption is, Ghosts looking at Pisces through the veil, Pisces looking straight back at the ghosts. The veil to you is see-through. You have an inner knowing and an inner feeling, but you just don't know where that inner knowing and feeling comes from because you are still an earth being, but you are more connected to the afterlife. Now, you may be one of those people where people can't put their finger on you. People think, I can work people out, but for some reason I can't work Pisces rising out. And genuinely it is because you merge so often. You may naturally change identities. You may naturally change your appearance. You may change your personality. You may change your humor. Big thing about Piscean energy is you can watch a film and if you admire the main character, you will take on the traits of that main character for the days following. If you admire it, you take on those characteristics and that can become you. People can't put their finger on you because you don't really put your finger on yourself. You don't hold on to an identity. You don't hold on to a characteristic. It's very flowy with you. And people always feel very drawn and magnetized to you because you do tend to project a reflection of the person that you're with. So if your partner is very serious, you become very serious. It's something Pisceans naturally do. You best know how to interact with people when you're interacting with them with the same characteristics that they have. So this can make people quite obsessed with you. They may be very connected to you, like you're the only person who understands me. A lot of people may say, wow, we're so alike. We must be twin flames, for instance. And you're just like, no, I'm just projecting yourself back onto you. It's what I do. Now, because you have this strong connection to the ethers, you also have this very strong manifestation energy. So strong that you can materialize things into your reality instantly, intentionally or unintentionally. So it's very important for a Piscean to remain positive because when you think it, you'll get it. You have the controls behind the scenes. So you are master manifestors. You can just do it and you can't really explain how you're doing it. And because of this connection with the ethers rather than the earthly plane, you are natural dreamers and fantasizers. And sometimes you can get lost in your dreams and your fantasies. Even words to you aren't words. You put visuals to everything. If you're speaking to a Pisces rising, they may communicate very visually. So they can take a 2D storybook and they can make a pop-up 3D storybook. You can add dimensions onto your words by adding visualizations. And this form of building dimensions on a subject is great when it comes to music, when it comes to storytelling, when it comes to painting a visual picture from a feeling. This is why you're natural artists. You don't tend to be too comfortable in the corporate world. You work better when you're working at your own flow, your own pace, and you're exercising your creativity. You can be quite misunderstood 
because of this very unique ability to be very visualistic and multi-dimensional. And this tends to put you in careers that are more solitudinary. Solitudinary, is that a word? Careers where you're in more solitude. And this kind of solo solitude kind of energy you have makes you very mysterious to other people. Now you're naturally compassionate and you have an ideal vision of society. You want world peace. You are Miss World or Miss Universe preaching for world peace and you mean it. You don't understand why there's fighting in the world. You don't understand why the financial system is completely effed and corrupt. You don't get it. And you don't understand why everyone can't just get on and live a harmonious life. So this can make you very interested in truth seeking or conspiracy theories because you know that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes because you know that there's a lot more going on behind the veil. So even when it comes to earth, there's more stuff going on behind the curtain and you kind of wanna know everything and understand everything. You're interested in that kind of thing. When it comes to the Pisces rising and their appearance, you do have a very dreamy look to you. You may choose to wear flowy materials, florals. I mean, even if you're a man, you may actually experiment with materials and have a very flowy kind of style, very like boho chic. But at the same time, you have a dreamy look because you have like the sexy tired eye look. Like you seem to always look like you're half asleep. What's the best way to explain this? They're not bright and open and hey, they're very much, yeah, everything's cool, everything's fine. Like just sexy tired eyes. That's all I'm gonna say. They're just like sexy tired eyes. Now you're sweet and you're charming and you're pleasant to look at. You're very mesmerizing to look at and it could be because of the way that you look. You may look very dreamy or you may wear those flowy clothes that kind of hypnotize people. But at the same time, your movements will be very flowy. You could be a really good dancer. You move with the energies of the situation that you're in and you may have a very soft and sensual voice, even a husky voice or a unique voice. Everything about you is calming, it's relaxing, it's pleasant. So you are highly attractive people and very mesmerizing and mysterious. People always want to know more about you. Now, when it comes to birth and your journey down the birth canal, your mom may have had some pain relief and you may have actually been affected by the pain relief and this is why you are so like hey yeah laid back like a hippie kind of vibe to you because the first thing you knew was to be a bit docile a bit drugged up a bit out of this world out of this reality so that could have been due to some strong pain relief that your mom had when she was giving birth to you but even if the birth was you know fairly natural it could have been quite a pleasant easy flowing birth because of that flowy movement that you have you may have flowed out of the birth canal so you may have um Discord, what's it called when you like dislocate your body? I'm not saying you dislocated your body to come down the birth canal, but you would have been very at one for the most easy journey through the birth canal, the most easy direction through the birth canal. You flowed with your mother's birth canal and your mother was just like, oh, this actually tickles a bit. <laughs> What am I on about? But it could have been a very spiritual experience around your birth. I haven't got many notes for this one because I just imagine it being quite a pleasant and flowing birth. How Pisces rise and shine in the morning. Again, you guys go with the flow. You flow with the energies of life and you need to do that in the morning. An alarm will fill you with anxiety. It's because it affects your flow. I can imagine that Pisces risings, because of the Neptunian influence, you're big dreamers. 
you probably really blast off when it comes to your dreams. You may even have astral experiences and it may really upset you when an alarm wakes you up when you're in the middle of a very nice dream, even a lucid dream. Now routine for Pisces rising is difficult. You don't tend to like a routine and this is the same with every aspect of your life. You don't tend to have any strict routines. So when it comes to the way that you make money, there's no routine and there's no money cap. When it comes to your relationships, there's no boundaries in a relationship. You and your partner are one merged soul. And it's the same when it comes to your morning routine. You don't like that. And if you force a routine upon yourself, it's going to make you very unhappy. So again, you like to wake up when it feels right. You like to go as slow or as quickly as you need in the morning. You may tend to have issues with turning up late places because you're just so lost in your own world when you're getting ready to go somewhere that you don't even realise the time and it can probably get in the way of regular jobs. What's ideal for you is just to wake up in the morning and feel what you feel, do some kind of creative work, paint how you feel in a picture, get in the studio and create some music. Obviously the intensity of this placement is going to depend on your other placements in your birth chart. So if you're a Pisces rising with a hell of a lot of earth signs, you may actually be more comfortable in a corporate position. It may not be ideal, but you may be like, okay, as long as I can get some form of freedom in my job, maybe my own office, or even a little bit of leeway when it comes to my own schedule, I can do this. But if you're a Pisces rising with a hell of a lot of water sign energy or air sign energy, you may really struggle when it comes to a regular way of life and you may want to look at more alternative jobs or career paths. Now you may also sleep a lot, a very dreamy sleepy person who likes naps and that's fine. And this could be another reason why you don't like alarms because you do take your time to wake up because you do have the tendency to sleep quite deep. So that is your rising sign and I hope you found this video to be interesting and informative. If you resonate, please comment down below and drop me a like if you like this video. If you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe because I would love to see more of you and I shall see you next time. Bye.